All right, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a Google slide in, as a way to make an animation or a model. And this is a really cool hack that I love to use both as a teacher to show kids models, but also to have students create. And that's what makes so so much fun. So what I've done is I've already gone in and done a little bit of background for you. I'm going to assume you know what a Google slide is. I'm going to assume you know how to put shapes or to put things on a slide. So those are my assumptions at the start of this video. What you're looking at here is down the left-hand side, I've put a background in and, and just for this video, I grabbed a background of a mountain scene. And what you'll notice is just off to the left of my sun or left of my slide is a sun that I'm going to make come up and go down. So what I've done is once you make a slide and I'll show you this, once you make a slide and you get all of the information that you're ready on that first slide, then all you have to do is you have to make the animation. So the next slide, you'll notice my sun moves. And the next slide, my son moves. And if I keep going through this, my son is going to come up and come up on the left and it's going to set on the right. Now, I haven't finished it setting yet, so let me show you how you do this. Once you have the thing ready to rock and roll and you just need to move your pieces to show the animation or the model, all you need to do is down here on my last slide now, I'm gonna right click and you'll see duplicate. And this is so huge. So now it's just duplicated that slide. I take my son and I move it a little bit and then I right click duplicate and I move the sun a little bit. And then I right click duplicate and I move the sun a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do right click duplicate one last time and my sun is gone off the screen, all right? So if I run this from start to finish and I'm just gonna hit the down arrow, I put my, I've selected slide one and every time I hit the down arrow, my sun comes across and sets on the other side of the screen. And I can do it backwards if I hit the up arrow, right? So you kids can practice. This is the cool thing is you can see, okay, did it move too much? Did it not move much, as much as I needed it to? So that's how you set this up. It's just right click duplicate after you get you whatever it is, the model or the thing that you need to show set up. The next thing now is to get it to do it by itself so that it actually becomes an animation. The way you do that is, is under the file menu, you're gonna go to publish to the web. And when you click publish to the web, you're going to get a link to this presentation. Now you'll notice here, it says every three seconds. Well, three seconds is gonna be a very start, stop, start, stop animation. So I'm gonna go down to every second. And even every second is going to be too long, but I'm gonna show you this is a hack, all right? So now I'm also gonna say start slideshow as soon as the player loads, and I wanna make this kind of like an animated GIF that it keeps replaying. So it's going to start the slideshow after the last slide. So your students might even need a beginning slide and an ending slide so that people know where it starts and stops. The last thing I'm gonna do then is click publish. And it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna publish the selected slideshow? And I'm gonna say yes. It gives me this link, right? Now this link, when I actually open this link, I'm gonna right click and open in a new tab and I just copied and pasted that in a new tab. And here is my slideshow. Now it's already started and notice this is one second, right? Because remember I told it to start as soon as it loads. So it's loading and my son is now moving every one second, it's playing its own slide by itself, which is a little too slow for me. And for most kids, it will be. Now, the hack is right up here in the URL. So this becomes really cool and to show kids. Up here in the URL, you will see right here where it says start equals true, meaning that as soon as it loads, I'm going to have it start. Then it's going to say loop equals true, meaning as soon as it stops to start playing again. Then it says de de delay milliseconds. So everything on the internet is actually down to the millisecond. Think about that for a second. Every animated GIF that you see, every video that you watch is actually recorded in milliseconds. So you'll see right here that it right now, it's 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. But I can actually change this and I can say, well, I only want this to be, whoop, let me click in there. I want this to be, come on, click in there. I want this to be, oh, don't do that. I clicked the whole thing. Come on, get in there. I want this to actually be 500 milliseconds. And when I, or basically a half a second. Now when I reload it, notice it goes faster. Well, I want my sun to rise and set a little faster than that. So I'm actually going to, oh, I have to stop it. That's why, aha, I have to stop the slideshow first. Now, if I come up here, I'm gonna say, well, actually I want this to be 200 milliseconds, all right? And now when I click enter, it's gonna go even faster. 
So you can decide how fast you want your model to move. Of course, you're gonna, let me stop this again. I've decided that makes it better. But you can even come down to, maybe you want it to be 10 milliseconds. That's gonna be pretty fast, right? That may be too fast. So now I got, so you have to kind of play with this for your own model in animation. I can come up here and where it says delay milliseconds, I'm gonna say maybe 100 milliseconds and see how that does. That's pretty good, right? And again, you can change this depending on what you want, but this is a really cool way to make an animation. You can have kids make models. You could have things come together and go apart. Think of the different ways that you can show understanding by having kids do this. And it's all done in a slideshow. So I have to delete out of that and come back to my edit mode. Here's my edit mode. And notice again, I'm just creating slides, every slide, has a different mo motion to it, whatever it is I'm trying, and you can have all kinds of multiple things moving around this slideshow. And in order to duplicate it, again, you click on the slide you want, right click, duplicate slide. That's the powerful point. That's number one. Number two, file, publish to web. Enjoy making your slide animations with kids.